And welcome to the next edition of the Wednesday Special. Today we're going to be trying out uh, Slesnia Angels through a league today. Uh, the deck picked up the brand new Wojcik Investigator. It's a two and a white for two four flying with Vigilance. That if your opponent on your uh, beginning your upkeep has more cards than you, you make a clue. So hopefully that is a little bit more of a grindy card. Um, so we can maybe grind through our worst matchups, which is like blue white control. So I don't know how I don't know how that's gonna work out. We also are gonna be trying out a copter. I'm not. I figured it was be pretty decent with cables reconstruction since it is an artifact that you can get. But if you like Wednesday special, let me know down in the comment section. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, hit that bell notification to go for future videos. Let's get into the deck list and see the deck in action. So the deck list we have three cables reconstructions, four cocos, two copters, twenty eight creatures. Uh, sideboard though we do have two deafening silences we could turn into a little bit of like a pseudo um death and taxes with silence um peacekeeper um, uh archon of amiri and redained they really kind of help against stuff like phoenix they also help against stuff like blue light control or lotus field pithy needle also helps against lotus field the name despian stage also does pretty reasonable against control naming teferi Two portable holes for the aggro matchup that can be gotten off of Cable's Reconstruction. And Shaper Sanctuary we bring in against grindy matchups like um, Rakdos Midrange. Stuff with a heavy, decent amount of removal. We could probably just cut the copters for it. That is the list we're trying out today. Let's see, Let's see the deck through a league and uh, we'll come back with a wrap up. Yeah. Castle passes. Temple Garden. Play that tap, say go. Now, Castle, that either means it's humans or it is control. It looks like it's control, which is, we'll see if we can't fight through this. I hope we can. Play Gahada, Seagull. No more lights, of course, of course. You got it, opponent. Deserted Beach, sure, sure, yeah. Splendid Angel. Question is how I want to pivot this turn. I think I kind of need to bait anything he has, but which is the better card to do that? I could just Copter, I think that's the correct play. Let's play Copter. Try to bait anything, and then we'll just go ahead and Temple Garden and sh ship the turn. Marches. Okay, that's fine. Pathway on blue and passes. All right, that's not necessarily ideal, but we'll play the Mystic, you know? We're optimistic. We'll play the Plains. Let's show off our new card. I believe in him. Sure, he resolves. That does not get temporary lockdown, so that's got positive. Probably gonna Deluge here. No Wandering Emperor. Makes a token. Nope. Upticks. This has Vigilance, so that's really good against Emperor. And of course, you have, you have Verdict. Makes a 2-2. Two, two. That that does make it... I should have realized that when he upticked it. So this is a pretty, I think, easy Kayla's Reconstruction. Um, While well, he's tapped out, we could maybe get something going. Uh, I definitely like these two. But Skyclave eating the, the Wandering Emperor should be able to push to, uh, slightly into our favor. Memory Deluge, okay. That's more of like a desperation type move from him, especially since it's sorcery speed. Plays the tap hollow fountain. I'm assuming he should nope, you can't really shove into the, that, but we're gonna go ahead and play Resplendent Angel, gain some life, and attempt to shove for four or two and ship the turn. Okay, we're not in a bad position against our worst matchup. D okay, detention sphere. Which one are you taking? The life gain or the payoff? There's no way it's Skyclave, yeah. That's like best case scenario for us because uh, I'd rather have the life gain in the potential late game uh, closeout period. So we'll take the two, n n not a problem. I'm, like I said, I'm not upset where I'm at right now. Like this is actually a relatively good position. He could have no more lives here, but I, th I don't think we could take a turn off. Of course, we'll go ahead and play Atlanta War Elf and hit you for two. Actually... Do I? Yeah, we're, we're winning this race war, so we'll we'll hit you. Now, the only downside of this, of course, is if he ever finds another Wandering Emperor, he can just eat my Valkyrie, but to fairy up uh, ticks. I'm assuming shoves would take it, and he gets to untap to another Valkyrie. This time we can play no, we can pay for no more lies, so we gain a bunch of life. Now, I think this. Do I pivot and hit this to fairy? It's tricky because I'm not actually killing the Teferi. So if I hit it now, I double hit it next turn. 
We do strangle his ability to gain card advantage on us. But at the same time, we're not actually... We're delaying the inevitable and losing that way. I guess we hit to fairy. That does give me more options next turn. Depending on his turn. And also forces him where he can't really minus. Oh, he's playing Elimination. That brings me back some. Uptick to fairy. Tap Anchorage. I don't think he can really afford an attack here. Doesn't. So now we know he has an Anchorage up. Angel is an interesting top deck. Again, a No More Lies, unless he has two No More Lies. But this really applies pressure if this resolves. Because we get to gain six life, which gives us the pump. So he bounces, so that way that doesn't occur. But he also made it where he cannot uh, Anchorage. Now, the problem here is he could have No More Lies, which could get this one, which I think is fine. We just kind of want to deplete his hand at this point. We go ahead and hit Teferi. And the next turn, this should kill Teferi, even through the Anchorage. Because we can't let him keep drawing and get to another Verdict. So he passes, untaps. What is he paying for? A Deluge? Five mana? Yeah, it looks like he's flashing back this Deluge. So he has two mana up. Doesn't really do anything. Since we can't get this. All right, so we go to Combat. Hit to fairy, hit face. So you get lost. So we deal some damage. Oh, I guess I do have an option here. I do, I do have a option for the Skyclave appetizers. I can eat the detention, which gives me back a angel, which means I gain more life, which should be enough, I think, to Sprock, whatever you may call it. Now, I think this is the opportunity to pump this Valkyrie. Gahada, I'm not a fan of. We can find something better than that. Cavern, that is an interesting top deck. So play the, that on Angel. Shift the turn. That should Sprock respond to Angel. We should have gained enough life, I think. Right? No. We just gained enough to get the bonus. So Teferi happens. Upticks. Supreme Verdict. Well, that sucks. But that's okay. He gets two 3-3 three, three and a 4-4. Four, four, but he has an Anchorage too. As they go, by the Hall. So now we lose our bonus as we go to 22. And he has six cards in hand with a Hall next turn available. Coco, I mean, that is our best card. It's best, especially in this situation, too. Now, if this isn't the resolve, we'll probably scoop it up. But we do have a lot of potential, I think, out of our board. So he draws a couple cards. So he upticks, plays a tap land, goes to combat. It hits me for seven. Not turning on the hall or the anchorage. I think it actually would, would have been safe to turn on the anchorage. We'll try to Coco. And we scoop it up. But like I said, we should have a decent post board here. We have a, a lot of options here. And even Pithing Needle is fine, right? Archangel is not as impressive, actually. But Shaper Sanctuary is also fine. It does get got by Lockdown. But I don't think he's going to keep Lockdown in against a heavy um, three drop dot deck. But we'll cut Skyclave Appetizers. Uh, Bishop of Wings is a two-for-one type situation, so we'll keep. Probably go down one Gahada. Investigator's interesting. Maybe one Elf. So Redain's a must, right? Pithy Needle, maybe we only need one. I think I cut the Shapers. Actually, this is a very slow, grindy matchup. Maybe we cut Elf and Elf. Why not like that? So I could probably just Shapers, say go. And then I can play Temple Tapped, play as a Beach Tapped. So we play Temple Tapped, say go. And then we'll play Caverns on Angel. Feel the Ruin. That is interesting. Come on, man. I mean, that is very interesting that he happens to draw that. Play the Cavern on Angel. Play the Righteous Valkyrie. Ship the turn. Marches my Sanctuary. Okay. So we play the Thicket. We go ahead and attempt to drop down an Angel. Kills the other angel, we, and that resolves. We pass the turn. Now, I think we're going to go ahead. We could angel plus company, but our map, that doesn't seem like the best course. Or maybe now, maybe that's fine, actually. We'll shock ourselves because honestly, it's not that big of a deal. Crack a map. Try to bait any kind of interaction here. And then we'll just go to combat. Hit ya. It looks like he's going to try to field the ruin us, but at that point, we could just Coco, and that should be fine. No, doesn't even bother fielding us. Attempting to pass, so we just don't do anything. We're not necessarily in a hurry for anything. So we'll crack the map here. Bishop of Wings, we keep, go to combat. 
Wandering Emperor could be inbound. I think I risk it. If I could bait a Wandering Emperor here, that's fine. I'm kind of just waiting for him to tap out. So he, here's the question. Is he going to go for a Supreme Verdict here? Coco. We still have a lot of cards that actually can push out a Coco. I mean, push him out. So Bishop of Wings does mean that we could get something back from, any, from a Wrath here, but... So he untaps, plays a plane, sure. To fairy. Do you down tick to fairy? I think you kind of have to. No. No fear. Uh, seems interesting as a move though. But yeah. I mean, he gets to untap two lands, but that doesn't seem that interesting to be frank. So we'll lead off with a, a pithing needle, which should bait anything out of his hand. And it does. I don't want to commit anything more to the board to a wrath, right? So I can just go ahead and pay into Resplendent Angel, kill to fairy, hit the face, make a 4-4, four, four, pass the turn. There's a pathway. Here comes the Emperor to eat the Angel. But now he just kind of dies to an elf, or she dies to an elf. So what I want to do here, I think, Wandering Emperor, Emperor, face. So any kind of removal doesn't keep the Emperor. So I think I lead off with a Bishop of Wings. This does mean a Resplendent Angel should make a token, and that's essentially my turn. We just pass. Don't play anything else. We still have an angel and a elf. Another field. So we have lethal and air, two of which can't be answered by a wandering emperor. Chaos Reconstruction. That is a great post-combat type situation. Got game two. Maybe Gahada is actually just better than a land of war elf. I don't like that. So he plays an island and passes. A Gahada of Hope. So I think I shock myself since life does not matter against control. I'll just play a mystic past the turn. So I think I have two possibilities here. And I think I'm going to go for, oh, is he tapping out? Marches. Okay, so now we're kind of, that's fine. Pathway. Because originally what I was thinking was I was going to cavern on cleric, which means both of these are uncounterable. But now that I don't have my elf anymore, let's just go ahead and drop down to planes, play a Gahada and say go. If we could somehow beat Control, that would be pretty amazing. Get Lost, of course. Tap a uh, Hollow Fountain. So I still think I'm going to play Cavern. I'm going to play it on Angel. Because I don't need to actually, you know, make this uncounterable this turn. Okay, so the Wandering Emperor. And we say go. So first things first, let's crack a map. Try to get more damage. Elvish Mystic to the bin. Do not need that. Go to combat. Shove at your face for four. Drop down a Righteous Valkyrie and ship the turn. So here's the Deluge. Deserted Beach. No Verdict. Okay, Teferi. Uptix Teferi. So we'll pump the Peacekeeper. Draw another land. That's not ideal. Play the Thicket. I think we have to go to combat. Teferi, Teferi. And Prey doesn't have a Get Lost. And ship the turn. So it plays that to draw a card. Okay, Illumination. And passes. So we untap. Resplendent Angel. Play the Angel. Shove and shove. Play the Thicket. Pop the Anchorage. Pass the turn. Feel the Ruin. Supreme Verdict. Uh, put that on green. Pass the turn. Wait for him to try to feel the Ruin us. Play the Coco. Or use the Coco. Um, Valkyrie. Do I want an Investigator? I mean, Bishop of Wings is a nice top deck here. But at the same time, we're here to play new cards. And plus, clues are quite nice, actually. And plus, neither one of these threats, I guess, get got by temporary lockdown. So we let the, the, the caverns go. That basically means we thin our deck, and we pass. So lockdown does not save him. He can have a supreme verdict, but I imagine he would have already would have done it by now. Now we get to make a um, clue, which is really powerful here. So we'll play Gahada, gain some life so we get the bonus, and attempt to... Attack with this. I don't think I want to attack into a Emperor here. So we'll go like that. So he bounces. Okay. So he takes two. Ganges. That happens. Pass the turn. Hollow Fountain tapped. And passes. We crack the clue. Redane. Now that is a car. Oh my god. I played the wrong card. So we shove here. Memory Deluge. So desperately trying to find a redraw. Watch him have Verdict. To Fairy. Which means he has to minus and take out the investigator. Redraws. So play Redained. Which should push out a lot of his stuff. There's the Emperor. 
Which means he's just kind of dead now, right? Because even a March should get taxed by this Redane. Face. Face. Are we getting there? Are we beating our worst matchup? Got it? Yes! What a great start. So we're facing in Soul. Play a Temple Garden tap. Say go. Empty. Shoves. Getting rid of a Citadel is kind of weird. Take two. Play the Thicket. Play Gahada. Say go. Shoves in. Probably pumps the Empty. Tap Den does give me a little bit of room. Copter. I think I have to, right? I think I need a Skyclave. <sighs> now it's tricky. Because if he has another Inti in hand, it kind of just undoes it, undoes it. Uh, and then I just get got by Copter. I think I have to get the Copter and say go. Or I hit you and say go. So I was back. We're taking six, most likely. We're down to six. I can't really afford to block either one of these two threats. Play the second Skyclave. Eat the Inti. Go to combat, shove in for two, pass the turn, another empty. I called it earlier, so I think this time I double block, which could bait like a shrapnel blast, but if it's going at the creatures, I'm perfectly okay with that. So we double block, they only get a 2-2 back, which is why this is not as devastating. Play as a courier, Gahada. So I think I go to combat, shove in for two. Play Valkyrie. Play Gahada because I, I think I have to to gain life to stabilize. Say go. Plays a Siren. Cracks it under the Siren so he has a 2 2 flyer and a chump blocker. Bends the Epic here. I definitely agree with that move. Another Valkyrie. Play a Valkyrie. Gain a bunch of life pre combat. Got game one. We definitely went portable hole. That answers a lot of his deck. Probably don't need Copter activated abilities. That does not stop NT. It's probably better than that, if I had to guess, right? And plus, forcing him not to be able to double spell, he has a lot of one drops. Now, Shapery Sanctuary also could be a possibility. Could be bringing in stuff like Rending Volleys um, to answer my flyers. We could just trim on two elves and run it like that. Byron. Okay. A Sage Shoe. So we'll play a Temple Garden tap. Say go. Him cracking the map on turn two tells me he needs lands. So he shoves in, hits me for two. So this Archon could be the make or break situation here. Play the Thicket. Play Gahada. Say go. So he gets in, shoves, hits me, take it. I think I just Archon. Play as a Siren. Play Archon. So now his lands come in ETB tapped. Shove in there. Cracks the map. Makes another 2-2. Two -two, bends the Quabat Courier. Scoops it up. Two and one. Let's get into the next. So we play the Thicket. Play the Mystic. Say go. Mana Confluence. Passes. Cavern on Angel. Play the Resplendent Angel. Say go. Thespian Stage. Sylvan Scrying. Lotus Field. So I think I just go ahead and drop down a Skyclave. I just kind of need to get my, beady, my beads going. Shove in there. Say go. Strict Proctor. Lotus Field. Cable's Reconstruction. Get a Valky. Mystic. Shove in there. Cycles of Vizier. So copies the stage. Or the field. Four mana. Opponent. Okay, there's the strings. So he can pour. Does he have a pour? Granted. Supreme Verdict. And Wraths. Okay. That hurt. So we need to have a land. Like a hot as they go. Okay, Emergent Ultimatum. I think I put back Dark Petition. Another Ultimatum. Okay, that's probably deciding, uh, you know, deciding, so. So, we definitely have a decent amount for this matchup. Maybe even Pithy Needle is a possibility. Definitely don't need the Instigators. Don't need the Copters. Bishop of Wings is kind of medium, I think. Because it's not a very good clock. And what is it doing? They don't really have their removal as only sweepers. Well, Skyclave is just worse, right? So I probably can keep one number of Bishop. Why not like that? Temple Garden, untapped. Land of War Elf, say go. Tap land, passes. Because playing another Elf is probably not better than Valky. So I play it and say go. Automora doesn't play anything. Play the Elf. Anointed Peacekeeper, hit you, say go. Scrying. Gets a stage and passes. I think Kayla's X3 is fine. 
So Gahada, Pithing Needle, and a Valky. And we will name Thespian Stage and Shove. All right, you're at five. There's the Lotus Field. Cycles. That works. So you should be able to tap it, cycle another Vizier. But he still is dead on board. So how does he answer that? Oh, let's get a Supreme Verdict. Got game two. That's good. I think I'm fine. Plays this Headquarters and Passes. Thicket. Mystic. Sega. Strict Proctor. So I think I just go ahead and play Red Dane. So he plays a Confluence and Passes. Even though I really don't like holding myself back here. I think I have to pass the turn. Let's keep taxing him out of the game. Cycles a Headquarters. And passes. So we go ahead. Play a Valk Valkyrie. And shove. Blocks. Takes two. Pass the turn. So we'll go ahead and drop down another Angel. Increase our clock. Gain some life. Go to combat. Shove in. Blocks. Takes four. Ship the turn. Fading hopes. His own creature. Okay, that means he's probably trying to wrath here. But can he get through a Redain? There's the Proctor again. And passes. Put that on white. Go to combat. Shove. Blocks the 5-5. Five five. That kills a Proctor. Goes to 4. We make a 4-4. Four four, or a 6-6. Six six. Gain a bunch of life. Pass the turn. That's Redain though. How do you get through the Redain? You only have one spell. Got it. I think we're 3 and 1. Let's get into the next. So uh, three, 3 and 2. Got, we got a chest, 20 play points, a thicket. So what did we learn this week about this deck overall? We went three and two with the deck. Not a terrible record overall. Um, actually, I'm kind of happy with how the list played out. We beat our worst matchup with blue light control. Um, I do also like the fact that this deck does play Coco. So it maybe it can be Amalia at post the, you know, wrath mode. You, then you try to Coco. You get a blocker, block the Amalia, and, and push it off long enough. Man base felt pretty reasonable. Three cavernous souls um, felt right on par. I cut some pathways for the two extra copies, which is a key reason why I cut a Cable's Reconstruction, since it is triple white. So, you know, that's a thing. But other than that, the deck felt pretty solid. If there's any suggestions that you guys would have made, um, let me know down in the comment section. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification before you head out that door. And until next time, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Talk to you soon.